Here we have a front console section. This is from an F or a G. You can tell because it has the black carpet and it's also got the cutout here for the swivel seat brace. Now the H will, ha will not have that cutout and of course the carpet's gold but that's no matter. We're looking for access on how we're going to get to the underside so we can put in the ashtray support brackets. So let me turn this over and show you what we're talking about. Here's the underside. And I'll put some light on this. There you can see the four support brackets for the ashtray. It's going to be a little difficult to install them. Now somebody has cut an access hole here. You can see the they drilled holes and then just saws all the but this hole is not normally there. So what we're going to have to do is come in from the front under the tack and see what we can do to position these four mounting brackets. There's a possibility that we could come in from the back. I won't know till I get there. But this shot here gives you an idea of what we're looking to end up with. Getting ready now to put in the ashtray. I have removed the carpet hold downs. There you go. Those chrome things there. So that I could flare up the carpet. You see, now I have access all the way to here so I can reach in and get to the ashtray because reaching in from the front, now that I'm here, there's no way from the front that I'm going to be able to reach back to the rear support plates. Give it a try. So there's the ashtray positioned. Now I'm going to attempt reaching in and trying to install uh, the rear support brackets. I'm not going to film it because it could have an awful lot of swearing involved. Son of a biscuit, look at that. I managed to get the first two in on the first try. The trick seems to be coming from the back and you gotta hold them And as you tighten them, they'll want to do this or flop down. So you've got to actually keep your fingers on them and, and then it'll, it'll go flat. Now I'm going to try to do the front from the back. Uh-oh! Well, the good news is you can get access to all four mounting from just right here. 
the bad news is I got all four installed and was tightening up the last one when the JB weld broke <coughs> and the top popped off. So we get to do it again. You know, my fault for not putting on more JB weld. But it's progress nonetheless. What the heck's that? Well, let's try this again. We've applied new JB weld to the ashtray and it's been sitting overnight with weights on it. So, that's a lot more coverage than we had the first time. That's probably going to hold in good shape. This time when I applied the JB weld, I roughened the surfaces up with 60 grit paper, hit them with alcohol, got them clean, applied the JB weld, and then I played the heat gun around on the JB weld and that's what got it to ooh, smooth out and flow and get into the, the crevices so this may have a good chance of staying let's try installing it see what we get and there you go ashtray completed I did the same thing as yesterday, reaching in through this section of the carpet and was able to position all four of the screws and the retaining plates. So, good and secure, not going anywhere. We call that one done.